is up everyone kyle here otherwise known as twisted 500 back with another video got some new parts in going to be showing you uh, what i got and a little review on them um, i know a lot of you were expecting an install video of the parachute that is coming got a few things i want to finish up how i'm going to route the cable things like that so that parachute video isn't complete yet but it does work so like the parachute does work don't think i'm just sticking it on there for a show the parachute does work it's just not um set up permanently it's something i can take on and off and i want to show you guys the permanent setup so that video will be coming um, but i'm going to show you guys this it is a drag wing from mmr I'll tell you guys the story behind this wing what happened with it why it's been taking so long i know i've been alluding to it for a while um i'll explain all that and i'll explain uh, the wing how it's supposed to be and just show you kind of got it kind of my experience with it and how we're going to set it up first off let's just take a look at the wing as you can see, it is kind of ugly, to be honest. So it's unfinished. It's just gel coated. As you can see, rough, rough edges all over the place. This is pretty big. Nice little lip on it for some downforce. It is carbon fiber. Actual wing body. I mean, well, everything on it is carbon fiber other than the struts. Uh, the struts, I believe, are stainless steel. I'm not for sure, but if you look at them, they are unfinished as well. So I'm going to paint those. They look kind of kind of ugly. They're just welded together. Better view of them, as you can see. This is a different one. Uh, this is what they sent me. This was a different one I was going to match, and as you can see, it's a little different. But it's just unfinished. You see the welds and everything. Going to have to paint those some way. These, obviously, you can see you can see the heat marks from the welding. Here's, you can see the heat marks from the welding. Um, I'm going to paint these black, obviously, because I don't want them looking like that. I'm going to actually probably put them on here, like the dragon snake concept, so then I can open up my trunk fully. Because, you know, street car, not going to inhibit anything to make this car drivable. So this, these are probably going to go here with the wing. Struts will just attach from the bottom of the car there to the actual wing. Um, and no, I am not going to put it on the stock uh, deck lid. The carbon fiber one is gonna go on that. So the carbon fiber deck lid will go here and this drag wing will attach to it. One thing I do like about the drag, about this particular wing is this lip here. That's actually where it attaches. So this will be flush um, up here on this edge and it'll just attach to this edge here so it won't be i won't have to drill through the top of the a deck lid or anything like that which i like will make it for a much cleaner look attaching to this part of the car here the only unfortunate thing is this is unfinished it's just gel coated um mmr says it's gel coated ready for paint um i'm not gonna paint it i have something in the works we'll see if it works out i'll show you guys about that later but i'm not gonna paint it um so it's gonna go from carbon which it's anderson composites carbon so it's going to look like this as you can see great weave pattern everything it's going to look like that and it's going to match up to this uh so i'm gonna have to figure out something don't want to paint it um so that's kind of unfortunate for those of you who don't know uh, this is the picture of the car the dragon snake that i'm basing this off of So yeah, the wing isn't going to add any weight. It's actually probably going to be lighter than this setup, which I think will be pretty cool, even with the struts and everything like that. Um, just getting it set up with all the little bits and pieces that I need to make it look finished. And then here's the thing, though. That top wing is this unfinished gel coat, and the winglets, I don't know if you can see them. Let me, let me, just, let me just open up the winglets for you so you can see. So the winglets... Look at that, finished carbon. So the winglets are gonna look fantastic, but this top doesn't. Why didn't they just make all of it look like this? I mean, I would have paid a little bit more to have all of it look like this with the option of not getting it finished or just painting over this. Because I go from a deck lid that looks, it's gonna look perfect. Winglets, it's gonna look perfect to that. So I'm going to have to somehow, I'm probably just gonna buy a carbon wrap or something stupid like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap carbon with carbon. This is a carbon wing 
And to get it to look right, we're gonna have to wrap carbon with carbon. Don't even get me started on that. So I'm gonna have to match this with the trunk on that. It is what it is. I am a little bit annoyed. Um, looks like they've taken it off their website because it took so long. Um, I ordered this back in May. Yes, ordered it May 21st, I believe. I was told two weeks. Wing, they said, was done. We're just waiting on struts. Well, everything, struts finally arrived. Um, it's supposed to come with four. They sent me three. Uh, emailed them, haven't heard anything. Had a friend with some extra set of struts. However, they look different. As you saw earlier, the struts do look different. So I'm just gonna use my friend's complete set of struts so they match. So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with this whole process. I figured one, it is slightly my fault. I thought that this piece right here was going to be finished. Apparently it's not, it's my fault. I will say that. Just looking at this, you can see it's unfinished. There's no way I'll want this on the car as is. Some people keep it like this, but I, I personally cannot put this on the car looking like that. With how good the car looks normally, I, I just couldn't, especially with the quality of the carbon that Andersons will have. I mean, the wing is super light, which I like, not gonna add any weight. Wing isn't actually that big. As you can see, it's super light. I can just pick it up one-handed carbon. So I wasn't lying. It is carbon. You can see it there. Um, but it will attach to this piece, just to the deck lid like that, and stick out. And then the struts will up here. I'm just gonna attach them there. I think that's gonna look pretty good, especially when I get it all matched up. Now, if I kept it on the original deck lid, keeping this black or even uh, just a wrap wouldn't be that big of a deal. Unfortunately, the issue runs into matching the winglets and then carbon trunk. Matching it is going to be real difficult. But if you get underneath it, it just attaches right here. That just attaches to so all the screws and every hardware underneath, other than the hardware going through the struts here, which I think is going to be pretty nice. You won't see it, it'll be hidden, and it's going to be almost flush with this portion here, giving it a more streamlined feel. And doesn't, you know, honestly, it's not more, it's not so much about the streamlined feel or look, it's about the finished look. It's going to look cleaner. Like you see a lot of drag cars with the screws up top. Uh, it just doesn't, to me, it doesn't look nice. Uh, it looks kinda just there. With having them hidden underneath, it'll look like the panel or like how it's it's supposed it's meant to be that way. Like when you look from forward, you don't see screws up through the top here on the top of these spoilers and wings or whatever. Like they're hidden underneath, they're hidden where you don't see them. Like even these for the gurney flap, they're hidden underneath here. You don't see them. It's more of a factory look, and that's what I like. So yeah, uh, don't think I dislike the wing. I do like it. They did put some thought process behind it. I will 100% say that, like how it attaches. Um, the thickness of the carbon, everything, it will, the way it will line up with the OEM deck lid, it will look good uh, once it's finished. However, I don't like how I feel I have to add so much to it. Um, like if this was finished, if those were maybe not powder coated black, just painted black, not the unfinished metal, I would be ecstatic. I would be saying, yes, get this immediately if you could. Um, just personally, in my opinion, if you, unless you're going full drag car, like 100% off street only, it's not so much for a street car because it just doesn't look finished. I know I keep saying that, but that's my opinion. Don't think uh, that's how it's supposed to be. It just doesn't look finished. Especially when you see stuff like this, like obviously that's just part of it. Said it was ready for paint so obviously painting this it'll look really nice a lot of people have this wing out there they're the color matched looks great but with an orange car i wanted to keep it black didn't want to paint it because uh, going from if i were to paint it it'd be carbon wing would be painted black and carbon winglets i think that wouldn't look good so i'm gonna have to go all carbon all the way through it is a little bit annoying just the amount of work at on top i thought i'd just buy this wing put it on, but it's turning out that it's not. Uh, 
turning out to be a lot more work than I was expecting. Um, so for those of you who just skipped through the video, the wing design, it's weight, super light, lighter than stock. Um, how it attaches to the car, I really, I really like because it attaches to this part here versus attaching um, on top like the S550, I mean S197 drag wings you see a lot. Here you go, you'll see them drilled through the top here attached to the deck lid versus attached to the backside here, which will be more smoother look over the top, I believe. I do like that. Um, overall, um, thickness of the carbon, everything, it's weight, I do like not overly not neat like it's it's sturdy it's like when i was picking it up with one hand it doesn't want to like it wants to be a solid piece it doesn't want to like flex and bend so as wind's going over it i believe that will stay sturdy no issues there my only issues with it like i said i wished it was more finished to match the winglets things like that but that's just me so if you guys are looking for an all-out drag wing 100 percent for the s550 this mmr drag ring I think is great if you're going for carbon. There are now, um, there are other metal options out there, strutless, things like that, which if you wanna go that route, they will work. But for carbon, I think this is the way to go. Super light, we'll get the job done for sure. And I think when it's all said and done, it'll look good based on what the Dragon Snake concept looked like. Uh, Shelby did a good job making it, like they paint matched it and it looked, it looked really good. Um, so I think when it's all finished, and all comes together it will look really really nice unfortunately until then there's going to be a lot of work on my end to getting it look how i want to um Jesus so want me to play yes that is a basketball so so yeah guys there it is hopefully um we can get this on for you soon uh, more videos to come um obviously i still have i'm still editing that video trying to get it how i want it and then get the uh, parachute cable to a way to where it will be permanent. Yeah, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw me post pictures of the Mother Road Festival in Springfield, Illinois. Parachute was on the car then, so yes, the parachute is functional, all that stuff. I just don't have a video up yet. That will be coming soon. Um, more passes here coming in the fall. VA is getting better, um, so I wanted to get that done. There will be an installed video of the deck lid for the trunk, the carbon trunk from Anderson's. My review on that looks super nice from just inside the... Um, the box it does look it looks exactly like how the hood looks um i'll show you kind of a walk around of that hood on this video so you guys can see the weave pattern all that till pattern looks the same so it should be pretty nice so not going into too much detail on this one because you, the purpose of this video is not for the hood but you can see it looks perfect the weave pattern so that trunk will look exactly like that as well obviously there are some imperfections it's just how just happens with carbon fiber but overall it looks really really nice this is the box it came in looks like they just took some boxes put it together stapled it and then with that box they had a two by four uh, box on the inside that they stapled it to and then drilled so it wouldn't move this this wing shipped was shipped very securely like i said just with three struts which is annoying uh having to figure some things out. And all these things might not happen with your experience, just this is what happened with me. It is now uh, October, uh, October 4th, when this video is made, we'll see when I actually get it out, ordered May. So yeah, it has been on order for a little bit, um, is what it is, there's been parts delays, but that's just my, my opinion. Uh, can't wait to get it on, can't wait to show you guys the finished product. Um, I do have some things to prevent it from scratching the paint as well, which I have to go buy. Uh, just little things that keep adding up. But it is what it is when you're trying to build a seven second street car. Uh, little things come up that you have to work through. Hope you all enjoyed. I know this year has been kind of, I won't say crazy, not crazy in a good way, just kind of crazy. We haven't had, haven't put out as many videos, haven't been to the track as much. Uh, my schedule, work schedule has been insane. Um, hoping to get more videos out there here this fall winter uh set some records especially with the car looking this way definitely get some pictures things like that uh still want to keep it as treatable as possible full interior all that stuff yeah guys hope y'all enjoyed the video more stuff to come i'll see y'all soon